Hey, what's going on guys? Very sorry for the delay, sorry for the wait in announcing the winners from the custom Mechatro contest, but here we are. I am finally going to let you guys know who the winners are for that. Now, first off, just want to say a big thank you to everyone who entered. Even if you didn't finish your entry on time, I hope you're still able to finish your work and post it online for people to see later on. We had a lot of very cool entries. If you guys have seen the album of entries posted on my Facebook page, and hopefully you guys went there and liked the ones that you like in order to pick the people's choice winner which we'll talk about that in a little bit so first of all in this video I'm going to let you guys know who the winners are of course but before that I want to show you some of the runners up because it was very difficult to choose and there was a, like I said a lot of really good ones and a lot of like very high tier entries that made it very difficult to choose the winners but myself and the three other judges Adam at USA Gundam store uh, as well as Brian and Aaron between the four of us we all had a hard time choosing who the winners were going to be but uh, so we do have some runners up that I thought were really really cool that were definitely very close in the running for the winners I want to show those to you guys first uh, then we'll go through the winners and then at the end of the video, I'll also have just a montage of all the entries. So again, if you guys want to see all the entries, just uh, watch those through the end of the video as well too. And then we'll also have before that, I have some just quick videos from the judges as well too that just wanted to express their thanks to you guys as well. And just they had some words to share with you guys also. So I'll have uh, some short videos from them also to share with you guys. But first off, I just want to say one thing before we get into showing you who the runners up are. And that is to also commemorate this contest we have a new t-shirt available on my website there on my merch store so the link will be down in the video description below and just want to say a big thank you to Shaka who's one of my patreon supporters and also one of the entrants in this competition uh, and he put together this cool illustration for that t-shirt so thank you for to him uh, for doing that it's very cool so if you guys want to pick up one of these t-shirts so you can get that at my store once again the link is down below very cool just Zaku Mechatro design there just to commemorate this fun uh, contest that we did here so um, also each of the winners the three top winners and the people's choice winner will get one of those uh, just courtesy of myself I'll send those out to the winners as well too so uh, as for the criteria that we were looking for once again just to remind you guys uh, the main thing I was looking for was the creativity creativity in the use of your Mechatro kits to make something cool interesting and new different like that and then also of course we were looking at uh, painting and just your technical skills of course and your ability to execute the idea that you have so it's one thing to have a really good idea and then the ability to actually make that idea into something into a good model objectively good model you know that takes some skill as well too so those were the things that we were looking for uh, but creativity was the first was like the number one thing so let's go ahead and take a look now at some of the ones that i thought were very very good some of the best ones among the group these are the runners up Alright guys, so now that you've seen those, now you want to know who the winners are going to be. And we're going to start off just by talking about the People's Choice winner. So the People's Choice winner was the one that you guys voted on on the Facebook page. And the prize for the People's Choice winner will be supplied by True Gunpla. So just want to say a big thank you again to Joel at True Gunpla for um, sponsoring that prize pack as well too. So you'll be getting some cool stuff from his store. And the winner of this was... Shaka Petru, uh, also known as Shaka, who designed the t-shirts, made this really cool diorama there and he ended up winning the People's Choice Award, so congratulations to him on that. Very cool build, one that I really liked quite a lot too and especially love the photography on that. So it's easy to see that uh, why people liked his entry as well too. Had a uh, beautiful photograph there and his other photographs that he entered were also really good as well too, but I only could put one in the album there on Facebook, but obviously a lot of you guys liked it as well too, so that's great news. 
All right, and then getting into third place, uh, the winner here is going to be Wunji Lao. And I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, but he made this really cool kind of new zeal, basically made out of different Mechatro parts and stuff. So uh, this one I thought was probably one of the most creative uses of the Mechatro parts as it's like hardly recognizable until you really look at it. You can see all the different parts of Mechatro stuff. And obviously there's some other stuff in there too, some other kit bash uh, materials, but there's a lot of Mechatro parts in there making up the main binders and all the little arms and everything. It's got the little Zaku in there. So to make it into basically, like I said, again, like a new zeal made out of Mechatro parts was very cool. And it was a really interesting idea, very creative idea, very creative use of the parts there. Uh, there were a little bits here and there that I think the, the model all in all could have been a little bit cleaner in the actual modification and painting and stuff like that. But I think it was uh, definitely one that we all all the judges and myself all really liked a lot. We thought it was very creative. So that's their third place winner. And moving on into a second place here, we've got our second place winner is going to be from Richard, aka Illumination. Uh, but uh, Richard Flanagan, as you guys may know him, he's around on Facebook quite a bit uh, in the different communities. And he made this really awesome there diorama of like a garage kind of scene there with the Mechatro kits being suspended by some chains and this kind of girder there in the garage and it was just a really cool diorama setup uh, with a bunch of LEDs in there too. I know he uh, custom uh, 3D printed some parts for that as well too and just a lot of stuff went into this diorama and it looks really great. It's very cool to see whether it's just like fully lit up or dark and then lit up with all the different LED work that he put into it as well too. It's a really cool diorama you know and there's a lot of cool parts in there and just a very convincing looking scene in the garage so I thought that was really cool and this is another one where you can just tell that a lot of work went into that so it was very well deserving of one of the prizes here and that leaves us to the first place winner and so let's go ahead and get right into it first place winner here is going to go to Justin Yip here with his custom uh, ramen producing Mechatro kit now this one I think uh, we all really like this one a lot as well too uh, because this one had a really good blend I think of the creativity in the use of the Mechatro kit turning it into like a ramen production machine there with this uh, stuff on its back all the tubes and things and then going into these little uh, bowls of ramen that once again he also did some uh, custom 3D printing for making some of these parts for this. Uh, and I know he did a, just a lot of work on this one as well too. So this one, uh, a lot of technical stuff in there and creating different elements for this. So, you know, there were, and then it's creating this whole scene too with like the street in the background for the phot photography. Uh, was really nice and it was also a very creative entry as well too obviously uh, with this idea being quite uh, unique very interesting he had like the wave pattern printed on the front of there as well too so it was a good mix of kind of uh, all of the criteria that we were looking for in this contest uh, put all into one package and so there you have it guys there are your winners for the custom Mechatro contest once again it was really fun to do a contest with something Although a little bit more obscure, you know, Mechatro kits is not something that you see a lot of people, at least in our community building, it's mostly Gunpla and things like that, other different uh, giant robots, things along those lines. So earlier in the year, we had the custom notching contest, as well. that was a lot of fun, and then just doing something like this is kind of similar lines to that uh, was a lot of fun as well too. And now that Code Wiki is going to be coming out with their version of the notching kit being a larger size, we might have to do a custom notching contest version 2.0 using the Code Wiki kit. Might be something we'll do in the future. I don't know yet but for now uh, that's a wrap on the Mechatro contest again big thank you to any of you guys who took the time to enter there was a lot of really great entries so you guys should all be proud of the work that you did again check out the Facebook album there on my Facebook page if you guys want to take a look at the pictures uh, more slowly but again at the end of this video here I'll show you all of them as well too but first before that I just want to give the last word to the other uh, judges that helped in the contest again uh, Adam Brian and Aaron. You guys are all great. I really appreciate your help in the judging for this as well. So without further ado, guys, thank you all so much for your support. Thanks for watching. And uh, here, I'll hand it over to the guys. Hey guys, this is Adam over at uh, USA Gundam Store. Just wanted to say congratulations to all the winners of the Megatro contest. Uh, it was extremely hard to uh, to judge. There's so many great entries, so many really cool uh, ideas and designs that you guys had. Um, so solid job to everyone that did enter. Uh, it was it was a, a very cool contest with uh, lots of entries and, and, a, and a lot of fun to be a part of. Um, but thank you guys so much. Congratulations again to all the winners. And uh, thank you guys so much for, for shopping with us and for competing in the competition and hope to see what you guys do next time. Thanks, bye. Hey guys, 
uh, Aaron here, or most of you might know me as Weathered As on uh, Insta and Facebook and the rest. Just wanted to say a massive thanks to all the entries. They were all fantastic. Um, I had a lot of fun uh, judging this. Um, it was actually very hard to judge. There were so many contenders. Um, really, really great effort, guys. A lot of creativity. Uh, just fantastic work. Uh, obviously, massive shout out to Justin for taking out first place. Well deserved. Just such an amazing uh, concept that went into that and executed beautifully. Uh, everything about it, the um, the workmanship, the painting, uh, and obviously the concept, fantastic. Uh, just something that really kind of blew me away. So well done to Justin. Um, I also really loved uh, the one by Petru. Uh, that obviously got the People's Choice Award and well deserved too. Um, super creative, a real slice of life. Uh, and I love the photography. The photography was fantastic. So well done. But yeah, massive shout out guys. Love doing it. Hope you, um, you know, uh, compete again next time the next competition's on. And hopefully I get to judge it. And this is Aaron signing off from the cave. See you guys later. Bye. Uh, hey everybody, it's Brian, Bro Builder. Um, I just want to say thank you to everybody that participated in the Mechatro Wego competition that Zach hosted. Uh, such an amazing amount of creativity out there. And I really wanted to say that it was uh, nice to see builders of all different levels joining in on the competition. That is very promising uh, because the more people that participate, the better the whole community is. So I just want to say thank you to all you guys. Congratulations to the winners. Uh, you all did great. And everybody else that didn't get up quite to the tippity top, keep working at it because your stuff is so good. So uh, thank you guys again. Have a good day.